my name's Laura Rolls and I'm a fiddler and a teacher from the Isle of Man. So today we're going to be continuing the series of videos that we've been doing for Culture Fanon on learning some Manx fiddle tunes. Now up to now we've been mainly concentrating on complete beginner tunes but this one's a little bit trickier. This one's probably around the grade two to three mark to give you an idea and it's a lovely tune called Cara Fusi which in Manx means the wedding tune. All right, so I'm going to play it through for you. It's a jig and it ends up going fairly fast usually. Um, so have a listen, I'll play through the whole tune and then we'll have a go at breaking it down. This tune is in three main parts. There is some repeating, but quite a lot of it is all completely new. So there's quite a lot of notes to learn in this one. But let's give it a go. So we're gonna start off with the first, the very first phrase. And this starts on a third finger on the A string. We're starting on a D. And then we're gonna go up to the first finger on the E string. And at the end, we're going to slur from a first finger down to an open. So have a listen just to this little bit. Okay, so three, one, 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 slur down to the open. Okay, the good news is it does it twice. So we don't have to learn the next bar. Let's try it through twice this time. And again. Good. Now the next bit starts off the same, but instead of slurring down, we're going to keep going up the scale. So it goes like this. Have a listen. Okay, so we go up to the number one, and then we're going to keep going up. We're going to go to a close second, and then a third finger on the E string. Let's have a look at that one again. Okay, let's go back to the beginning and put those three bars together. Okay, now the last little bit in that phrase, we're going to go to a close second and we're going to do the same pattern as the first bar, but we're going to go down this time. So it's going to go from a close second down to an open and then we're going to slur for an open to a third finger on the A string. So it goes like this, have a listen. Okay, have a try that again. So starting on a close second. Don't forget to slur with the bow, so two, two notes in the one bow at the end. Brilliant, let's put those four bars together. So starting on the third finger, going up to a first finger on the E. Okay, now the next section should be quicker to learn because it's almost the same, we're just going to be one note lower. Okay, so instead of starting on number three on the A string, we're going to start on a wide second finger on the A string and we're going to go up to the open E. So have a listen to the next little bit we're going to learn. So can you hear how they're almost, they're almost the same, they're just one note different. Okay, so let's do the first bit. We're going to start on a wide second finger and we're going to go up to an open E string. And then the slur at the end of the bar is an open back down to a third finger on the A string. Let's give that a go. Wide second to start. So let's do it one more time. Brilliant. Now, again, it does it twice, so let's go to through two times. And 
then just like we did the first time, it's going to go the same at the beginning, but then it's going to keep on going up. So it's going to go open one, close second at the very end. So have a listen to that bar. Okay, should give that a go. So starting in a wide second. Don't forget it's a close second on the E string though. Brilliant, let's put those three together. Wide second to start on the A string. And it goes up. Fantastic. Now the last bit, it starts on number one and we're gonna go down to a number three on the A string. So it's like the beginning bit backwards. So instead of going, we're going. So it goes, one, three, 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 two. One more time. So starting on a first finger. Fantastic. Okay, let's try from the second half of the bit we've just learned. So let's do from the wide second on the A going up to the, the E string. And we're going to go all the way through those four bars. Fantastic, one more time. Brilliant, okay, all the way back to the beginning if we can remember that far back. So, starting on the third finger on the A string and we're gonna go up to a first finger on the E. good news for you we're gonna go right back to the beginning and we're gonna do everything that we've done again so twice through that section that we've just played should we give that a go so we'll go right back to the beginning and we're gonna do it two times through starting on a third finger bit that's different at the end. The first time we played it we did. Now the second time to join into the next bit of the tune we're going to keep the beginning the same so it's still going to go one three 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 but this time we're going to go back to the one on the E string and we're going to go up to a number two as well so it does this. Okay let's try that. So one, three, 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 one, two. And then that leads us into the next section. Okay, so the next section, I'll play you through the whole of it. This bit I find is a lot easier if you slur a lot of the notes together, especially when we get faster. So I'm gonna put in a few more slurs than are in the fiddle book if you've got a copy of the fiddle book. So here we go, have a listen. middle section of the tune and when I'm slurring things I'm mainly slurring in groups of three because we're in a jig time we like to group group notes together in threes okay so most of this moves by step we're going to start on a third finger of the E string and it's going to come down by step so it's going to go three two one and then the next section goes two one open so have a listen to that bar we've got close seconds don't forget on the on the E string 
nice patterns. So three, two, one, two, one, open. Let's give that a go. Brilliant. Now, the next bar we've already done, this was the bar that was the end of the first section. So it goes one, three, 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 one, two. Okay, so remember that was the last one at the end of the first section. Let's try that one again. So starting on a first finger on the E string. And all of those are gonna be separate bows. Let's try from the top and put those two together. So starting on a third finger on the E string. The next bar starts off the same as the first bar of this new section. So it starts on a third finger on the E and it's going to go down to a two and a one. But this time it's going to go back up. So it goes like this. So three, two, one, one, two, three. And we're going to keep slurring in those groups of three for this bar. Let's try that. So starting on the third finger. Brilliant, one more time. Brilliant, now we've got to go for a fourth finger. Now remember for a fourth finger, it's quite hard to get it in tune sometimes. We want quite a nice big gap between the third and the fourth finger in order to make sure it's really in tune. So don't have it really close, make sure you've got that nice gap. And we're gonna do a fourth finger all the way to an open E. So it's only a quick stretch up to the fourth and then we can take it off. So we've got four to an open E, and then we've got a one and a two at the end. So it goes four, open, 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 one, two. Let's try that. Fantastic, one more time. Wonderful, okay. Now let's go from the very top of this second section. So we're gonna start off with a third finger on the E string and we're gonna slur the first bits into groups of three. One, three, three, three. And then up. Four, open, open, open. One, two. That's it, brilliant, one more time. So starting on a third finger. <laughs> Wonderful, well done. Okay, next bit we've already done, so here we go. Exactly the same as the first bar of the section. But we're gonna keep doing the pattern. So we're gonna do three, two, one, two, one, open, one, open, three. So it keeps going down in the same pattern. Let's try that. So three, two, one, two, one, open, one, two, three. Brilliant. Okay, to finish off that little bit, we're just gonna to go to an open E and we're gonna do two open E's. So have a listen to that. Oh, I'm sorry, I got it wrong. One open E <laughs> and then an open A. There we go. And what we're gonna do to make sure our bowing's right, we're just gonna tuck in that open A, so it's not quite a slur, but we're gonna do an open E, and then just tuck in the A in the same bow, so they're both gonna be up bows. Let's give that a go from the third finger on the E, that's a new section. Fantastic. Let's go back to the beginning of the second section. So starting on the third finger on the E, one, three, three, three. And back up to a four. Keep the pattern. Brilliant.
near, nearly there, last little bit. We've nearly learnt the whole thing. I'm doing so well. Okay, so keep on the open A string. So that's the last little bit to do. Okay, so we're gonna do two open A's. Now the first one's a bit longer, so we've got to go long, short. So we don't have many notes that are longer in this piece. Most of them are all quavers, they're all quite fast notes. So when we do get a long note, we've got to make sure that we don't rush it. And then we're going to do one, two, three, going down to a third finger on the D string. So. And we're going to slur the first finger and the open finger. So it goes open and then slur and then the third on its own. One more time with the slur in. Fantastic. Last little bit. It's a bit of a hard jump on the violin. We're going to go from a wide second finger on the D string all the way up to a third finger on the A string. So we've got... quite hard to get that tuning right, so really listen to this bit. That's it, let's put those last two bars together. So starting on the open A. Two, three, three, three. Lovely, one more time. Fantastic. Right, shall we try the whole of the second section? So it starts off on the third finger on the E string, right the way at the top. And we're gonna slur these ones in threes, remember to start off with. So we've got. Now remember, if this is moving a bit too fast for you, you can always rewind a section and replay that until you've got it before you move forward. So don't think you've got to get this tune all in one go at home. You can pause it and do whatever you like with it. Let's go back to the very beginning, if you can remember that. And we're going to do the first section and the second section there and put them together. So we're going to start off on a third finger and it goes up to a first finger on the E string. Did you remember it all? This is one of these tunes that seems really overwhelming because there's lots of notes, but once you've got it, it'll be stuck forever, I promise. Last section is mega short, and we've done a lot of it already, so it should be really easy to finish off. You've done the hard job. Okay, now it does this bar to start with. Do you recognize that? So this is way back to the beginning when we did the second half of the first section, and we go from a wide second finger up to an open E and then slur to a third finger. Now have a listen to the, the end of the tune. So 
side's quite familiar, doesn't it? So we've pretty much done this. So we're doing second finger up to the open. And then we do it again. And then we do it again. But we go up. And then one, three, three, three. You should be able to manage that because it's pretty much the same as what we had in the first section. Okay, let's try that. off we just do it again exactly the same so twice through to finish and again and that's it that's the whole tune shall we give it a go all the way from the beginning so starting off on a third finger on the A string, going to a first finger on the E string. tune well done now once you've got the notes learned then you might want to think a little bit about putting some ornaments in especially if you've got to this slightly higher level and this is a lovely tune for putting ornaments in because we've got lots of repeated notes and repeated notes um, are made more interesting when you can put an ornament in so for example here's what I would do with the first little bit So we've got some cuts in there. Cuts on the violin are where we just hit the string with our third finger. So Now we're not trying to play a note, it's just a rhythmic effect. So you don't want to go. It's just literally hitting the string, but not pressing it down. So I'm doing those whenever we have an open string. So when we do the number two to the open, what that sound is that's called a cut like that so you might want to practice those um, now at the very beginning of the tune when we have the first finger I'm doing a roll so a roll we've got our first finger on we're going to do a cut with our third finger which automatically then goes back to the first finger and then we're just going to take the first finger off to an open and put it back on again so really slowly it goes like this. Okay, but we don't want it to be that slow. It's got to be mega fast. It's got to be so fast that you can't really hear the notes. And this takes a lot of practicing to get to, get to that stage. So start off nice and slow. So think about the mechanics of what you're doing. So first finger, cut, open one. But eventually we want it this fast. So you don't really actually hear the notes. It's just, it's just a, an ornament. It's just a, an effect, really. So here's the beginning bit. Okay, so it's just a really quick little ornament at the end. 
So those are some things that you might want to start practicing in order to add to the tune just to make it a bit more interesting. I'm going to play it through once more for you to finish just with some ornaments added so it gives you an idea of style and things that you might want to do in the future. Okay, so here's Cara Fusi. Well done, thank you for joining me and if you have the fiddle book which is available to buy from Culture Bannon this tune is in there and it also has a duet part so you can grab one of your friends and you can play it together which is lots more fun. Thank you very much for watching, I hope to see you again.